we'll use TI30X2S calculator to find the binary probability where the X or the successes are equal to 2 the n or the number of trials are equal to 3 and the probability of single success is equal to 0 0.4 so first the first thing is that we want to calculate this first part the 3 choose 2 right so we turn on the calculator we type the number on the top the 3 then the next step is to press this PRB button in other words the probability and then we choose the NCR because we are interested in the combinations so we press this right arrow and go in the middle and we press enter or equal so we can see it's 3 which is the top number choose we press you have to press the second number which is the, on the bottom which is the RX right 2 so we press enter so this 3 it means that the three choose two. The first part is. Uh, it means that it is equal to three. In other words, there are like three ways to choose two objects from a set of three total uh, objects, right? Then we have two more parts, which is the zero point four. So we multiply by zero point four on the power of two squared, right? And then we have to multiply this by zero point six, which is the last term, right? and this is a probability what we are looking for right now we'll do the same calculation but this time we'll use the function of factorial so we'll you write the n choose x or the 3 choose 2 as this fraction of factorials right so the first thing is to uh, write the number on the top which is the 3 factorial right the 3 so we first write the 3 then in order to go and find the factorials we should press this PRB button again PRB and then uh, the third thing is the factorial right so we go right this time and right and choose the factorial symbol and press enter so we have the three factorial which is the numerator and then we divide by and uh, we can put the parenthesis if we want two and we want the factorial sign, right? So we press the PRB, go right, right, press the factorial, and then the last part is equal to one factorial, which is one, so we don't have to do it, uh, calculate this. So we press enter. So this part of three, is it's, it means that there are like three ways to choose two objects from a set of three total objects right so we have to multiply by 0 0.4 which is the second part uh, 0 0.4 squared right and then multiply by 0 0.6 and as you can see we found exactly the same result as previous the previous uh, method